Authorities in Ghana shut down an operation impersonating, impersonating the U.S. Embassy. The U.S. State Department confirms that security officials learned of the scam while conducting a wider investigation. CCTV's Mimi Chiahamin has more. Well, according to the State Department, this fake U.S. embassy was being run by an organized crime ring with members from Turkey and Ghana, including a Ghanaian attorney who practiced immigration and criminal law. Now, they were allegedly issuing legitimate but fraudulently obtained visas and birth certificates for about $6,000 per document. The operation was successfully shut down a few months ago, the State Department said recently, after an investigation that was coordinated by the Assistant Regional Security Officer Investigator at the real U.S. Embassy in Accra. Now, the local police force and the Detectives Bureau, along with other international partners, carried out several raids and arrested a number of different suspects. And during those raids, authorities also discovered a fake Dutch embassy. They also found and seized other authentic as well as counterfeit visas to India, South Africa, and the Schengen Zone, plus 150 passports from 10 different countries, a laptop, and several smartphones. It seems the ring was bribing corrupt officials to either look the other way or supply legitimate blank documents that could be doctored. And that's according to a statement by the State Department that also described the fake embassy. It reportedly flew an American flag in its courtyard and was open three mornings a week for about a decade until this recent bust. But authorities say it's still unknown how many people have illegally entered the U.S. and other countries using these false documents. Mimi Chahaman, CCTV, New York.